I turn this thing off? Hi, all. Uh, welcome to the call. I know we're missing one, but let's just get started anyways. Great to get to e-meet over this very important topic of reader retention Hello? and... Hello? Uh, uh, yes, Katniss, you there? Can you hear me? Sorry, bad Wi-Fi here in District 12. Yes, yes we can. So, I think we're all here. As I said, welcome everyone to the third quarterly board meeting of SSLP. Let's begin by sounding off in attendance. I'll go first. I'm Harry Potter, or the boy who lived, and chairman of the board here at SSLP. I'm Katniss Everdeen, you know, the mocking day. Uh, and, sorry, uh, actually, we don't need to state our nicknames. But you just said- I know, I know I said boy who lived. I'm a hypocrite, sue me. But For the sake of time, let's just leave our egos at the door today, okay? Okay, so I'm Katniss Everdeen, and I'm vice chair of SSLP. Thanks, Katniss. Um, I'm Lightning Girl, and I serve as board treasurer and actual human calculator. Hi, I'm Castle, but you can call me Ghost, the senior director of youth engagement. Happy to be here. Happy to have you, Ghost. Hi, I'm Steph Soto, director of PR. Hey, Steph. Glad you're on. Hoping that this means that this year we'll stay in the papers for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harry. I'm sure I've got a few tricks of the trade I can share to make sure that our I optics... know some new tricks. Huh? Sorry, what? Who's that? I think there's someone coming into our call late. Kat, if that's you, make sure to switch your video on. I can hold up a fish and some milk on a dish. Oh, hey, Kat. Glad you could join us. Uh, the cat in the hat is here? Yes, that's me, the cat in the hat. But don't let me sit on your bamboo mat. What's his role on this board? He doesn't really have a role. Well, me. actually, we just added him for comic relief. Also, he has lots of readers. So many readers. We thought that maybe he'd have some good advice. Ah, okay. Makes sense, I guess. So anyways, hi everyone. Thanks for introducing yourselves. Today we're gathered to talk about keeping our reader counts up. And as we all know, these kids are just watching YouTube and staring into their phone screens all day. And as the only non-muggle here, I have to be honest, none of that makes much sense to me. We have to talk strategy to keep these kids reading our books. I know you all have some great ideas and you're all here because your reader counts are high. So Katniss, you want to start us off? Sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, so not to toot my own horn or anything, but as we all know, my reader counts are very high and they've only been climbing. Now, I think that has to do with, well, you know, girl power. Am I right, ladies? Brilliant. Did you guys rehearse that or something? But I think it also has to do with my stories involve solving challenges. I can attest that readers love challenges. It keeps things interesting. Hi, Canis. Big fan of your work. I totally agree, and I just want to piggyback on your own sentiments there about girl power and challenges. In my books, obviously it's all about Latino women and their strength and their heritage and overcoming challenges. But also, it's about that goes. Everybody loves them. Can I get a hey yo? Hey yo. Hey yo. What's your name though? Is it Willie or Davy or Nikki or JLo? So, anyways, according to my calculations, 95% of people on Earth love tacos. So, you're not wrong. What about the other 5%? Those people can't be trusted. Exactly. We have a whole truck full of tacos. If that doesn't get their readers to engage, I really don't know what will. Great. So, girl power, challenges, tacos. Thank you both. Do we have any other suggestions? Harry, have you ever thought of casting a spell with a fish in a well, but making it look silly like a hard taco shell? A fish in a well? I'm sorry, Kat, you lost me. Also, I read in your books that your broomsticks are wooden. Now, just imagine a broomstick with a cup holder and a place for some pudding. Um, what? Are these actual suggestions or are you just making up poetry? He's making it up. It's just what he does. Ugh, why is he even here? Cat in the Hat is such a troll. Can I just step in here real quick? By all means, Ghost, the floor is yours. Okay, well, I just think that the readers need to be leveled with. You know what I'm saying? So many stories are about chosen ones and heroic victors. <laughs> oh, no offense. What I mean is, I think those stories are great, but what about, like, the average kid? 
Sometimes kids who don't have role models just need a little inspiration. I really just think it's time that we lift up some new voices. Speaking of lifting, have you ever lifted a schnooterlang? It has notes of candy corn, but also of propane. Uh... If you think one smells rich, then here's the sitch. A schnooterlang never tells you if it's singing off pitch. Woo! Oops. Cat, you there? Cat in the hat? Uh, I guess I accidentally hung up on him. At a girl. Well, we're almost out of time here. So any more comments? Questions? I do. Stuff does your family's taco truck deliver on Postmates? Yeah, we do. I'll, I'll give you the text. Okay, then. I think we're all getting a little hungry. So with that, this concludes our third quarterly board meeting of SSLP.